So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. So we have what looks like a circle here. We have a point. This is maybe the center. Yes, let's, let's just read the question first. So this says the circle shown has center negative 1, 1, which we see right there. Line T is tangent to the circle at point 4, negative 3 which we see line T, and we see this point of tangency right here. Which of the following points also lies on line T? Interesting. Okay. So how would we know, how would we know what other points are on line T? Well, first of all, because it's a diagram question, we can use the diagram to at least give us some sense of what's possible, right? So for instance, choice A the graph of 0, 5 fourths, right? So 0, 5 fourths, again, if this is negative 1, 1, that makes this 1 on the y-axis. 5 fourths is barely above 1, and 0, 5 fourths would be a point right here. Well, that's definitely not on line T, so A is gone. Choice B, 3, 6. Well, if this is 4, negative 3, that makes this here, that makes that 4, which means I can say this is 1, 2, and 3. So this would be 3. And then 6, right? If this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, would be here. I'm not exactly sure, but somewhere in that area. So 3, 6 would be here. At any rate, no chance that 3, 6 is on line T. So choice B is gone. 8, 2, you're getting the point, I think, now. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 2. Well, now, maybe, right? Because... I don't know, like that's at least in the right area. Um, I could be off a little bit. I'm not using graph paper. I'm not using a ruler. So yeah, maybe 8, 2. 8, 2 is on that line. It's very possible. It's close enough. And then 9, 1. So 9 and then 1 is down here, right? And this is why it's beneficial to actually draw this line because we know that that's 1. Uh, I don't know that this is 9, for, for, instance, for instance, but if I do know this is 4. So the distance from there to there, I double it would take me to about here for 8. So yeah, I, I'm kind of happy with my 9. So to have 9, 1, it's in the right area, but it just seems a little too low in the y value for it to actually be on this line here. So I'm going to get rid of that and say that choice C is the best answer. And all I really used was my diagram, right? And that's the value of having the diagram. Because if this were not drawn at all, I'd have really nothing to go by to answer this question. So 9, 1 is in the right area, but a little too low. 8, 2 looks like it's going to be the best bet for being on line T. So choice C is the correct answer here.